Hey guys, so seeing as it's sweater weather, we're gonna do some chunky cable knit nails. So to get started, we're just gonna apply a base coat and then I'm gonna cure that in my LED or UV lamp. Then we're gonna go ahead and apply our base color. So I'm using a, I guess you could call this a heather gray, who knows? And then I'm also gonna apply a second coat. I decided to actually go darker, so that's why there's such a jump there. Don't judge me. Then you're just gonna take something to mix on. I'm taking the plastic backing from my nail forms. There's no need to waste your nail form so you could just use the paper and make sure that it's glossy side up and I'm just mixing my gel polish with some 3d sculpting gel I get this from nail labo store this is from presto um, but you guys can just use acrylic powder if you have that or you can also use builder gel however you want to make sure that your builder gel is soak off if it's not you'll have to file this design off and that would be very time-consuming well, I'm creating kind of a cable knit print it's not exact but that's okay I won't tell anyone if you don't so what I'm actually doing here is I am floating over the nail so you don't want to press down on your bristles you want to slightly hover over the nail bed so that the gel will fall naturally I, does that make any sense it's gravity guys it's science now if you guys have noticed this I have not mixed my gel to a very thick consistency so as you can see all of those previous strokes that I've taken they are starting to spread and that's fine because I want my design to be really chunky and big however if you don't then you probably want to apply less product or you want to cure um, every few strokes in between instead of going all the way down the nail you know what I mean and actually I'm gonna show you guys an alternative so I just applied two long lines on either side of my design and then I mixed another batch because let's just be honest I ran out <laughs> but I also made this mixture slightly lighter because it's going to give even more of an impression that this design is 3d and it's like lifting off of the nail so you're basically adding a highlight if you will so I made this mixture really thick and it is staying in place a lot better than the previous mixture so that's another option is that you can make your um, gel to acrylic ratio greater and like I said to make sure it stays in place I'm going to cure it and then move on to the next part of my design so I just added some dots on the opposing sides you can do whatever you want you guys can look at a sweater and kind of take some inspiration from that and then um, to seal this design I'm going to be using a gel top coat but as you can see I removed a lot of the product off of the brush and I'm really pressing very hard when I apply this to get in between all the crevices without adding any height and taking away from my 3d design you want to remove the inhibition layer with a uh, rubber alcohol or gel cleanser and then I actually took regular matte nail polish and I'm just gonna apply this over top remember guys you can use regular nail polish on top of your gel polish you just want to make sure that when you go to take it off that you use a non acetone remover we're done guys so that's a wrap I'm going to bed and if it's late you should too but not before you go to Instagram and follow me because if you already were you would have got the sneak peek of this tutorial bye